Welcome back to Cooking with Guns for Dummies. Today's episode is brought to you by Cover Your Six Clothing. So a question I get quite often is, Brent, whenever you're out in the wild, how do you cook your steaks? That's a very good question and a very simple answer. I found whenever I'm lost out in the woods in my bug out bag, something very important you should always pack. And it is this right here. This is what I like to call a tactical toaster. What makes it tactical? Or, you know, where did you buy the tactical toaster? Because they're always sold out at the gun shows. Well, this one right here, my friends, I made it. All you have to do is put an American flag on the side of it and attach something dangerous to the other side, such as a gun or a knife. Now, all my guns are too big to attach to this. It look kind of silly. I just use electrical tape and my survival knife. And there we go. There is our tactical toaster to cook our steaks in when we're out lost in the woods or the desert or you're, you know, in your backyard and you're lost and you can't find your way back. Use a toaster. It's very portable and it's small, small enough to fit in a new uh, backpack. I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, well, well, Brant, what are you going to plug it into? Well, trust me, I thought of everything. That's why you carry a larger backpack for your extension cord. See, if you plug it in before you leave the house, and you don't have to worry about your power supply anymore. You just plug it in. So, let me demonstrate. So you got your two ends here. Now, if you're really far out in the woods, you might want to, you know, piggyback a couple of them together. As many as you might need. So we'll plug one side into the cord here. And then the other side of the cord is all right, right here. So we're just going to plug it into the wall right here. But, you know, I'd plug it in an outside outlet maybe. Or you can plug it in inside and just leave the door open while you trek off to the woods. So, I got right here my Angus beef. And we just tear it open. And I find these thin cut ribeyes work perfect inside the toaster. So here we go. You want to shove it all in there like this and then I put it on high because it takes a, that's, you know, it's a toaster. So let's, it's going right now. If you can see it, stick down in there. Then I like to salt and pepper it as well. So hold on one second. Ooh, and I almost forgot, when you're playing with toasters, these are very dangerous because things pop up. It's very important to use safety glasses. Safety first. So then, you got your salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper it right in there. It doesn't matter. Then you can always just shake it around. So here we are. Oh, it's starting to smell good. Can you see it sizzling? Oh, it's sizzling good, too. So let's just wait for it to cook, and I'll come right back. Okay, so now our steak has popped, which means it's ready. In fact, I had to cycle it twice, because I like mine rare. Don't want it well done. So, now we got to get it out of the toaster. So let's get the our nice knife here we have on our tactical toaster. And let's get it out. But first, make sure to always unplug the toaster unless you are a millennial and in that case just think of it as the next stupid challenge instead of the tide pods or snorting condoms up your nose just jab knives into toasters okay so here is our steak right here now as you can see it's done it looks very good so 
Ooh, and it's nice and hot too. Look at this. Mmm, fall apart. Mmm. Also, if your steak isn't quite as done as you prefer it to be, like, see, this is kind of red right there. I mean, to me, that's fine. But if you like yours a little bit more well done, and your toaster's ruined for some reason, I don't know, something happened to it. This is why I carry a Taurus Judge right here. But there's something special about this Taurus Judge, and that is you can buy these right here. Dragon's Breath. 410 shells. Load some of these babies in here, fire off a few rounds into that steak. Next thing you know, it's well done, which is how you ruin meat. But it's still fun shooting the, the dragon's breath at a piece of meat. So, that is how you survive when you're lost in the wilderness and all you have is a toaster and a bunch of extension cords. But I must add, have you cooked one steak in there? That this toaster is pretty much ruined from from now on. So just throw this away. The next time you, that you're hungry, just get another toaster, or you can carry multiple toasters in your bug out bag for this kind of situation. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Remember, always be excellent to each other, and God bless America. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Thank God I'm not vegan.